Hi, my name is Kai Wan. Today, we're going to share with you guys three different macro lens. And because I want to buy a macro lens, I need to figure out which macro lens fit my need. And maybe this video can help you to decide which macro lens fit your need if you want to buy a macro lens. So we have a Sigma 150, Sigma 105, and a Canon 100 image stabilizer version. Overall, they all have 2.8 aperture with image stabilizer, but the image looks dramatically different. The Canon 100 have the best image stabilizer and the best autofocus, super fast and super accurate. Both of the Sigma have super fast autofocus, but the accuracy is quite low. And also the motors on the Sigma are quite loud. It's pretty noisy. Yep, so let's start the image quality test right now. The Canon 100 IS at 2.8, sharp center and sharp corner, but a lot of chromatic aberration. You can reduce most of the chromatic aberration at f8, but the chromatic aberration is still visible. f6.3 to f10 are the best image quality range. The image quality keep increasing until f10. If you stop down your after smaller than f11, your image will start to fall apart. And then we are going to do a lens flare, bokeh, focus breathing, and distortion test. Yeah, so the Canon 100 IS version is a sharp lens with noticeable chromatic aberration. Next lens, the Sigma 105, wide open at 2.8, sharp center and sharp corner, but with lots of chromatic aberration. And the chromatic aberration can be fixed around F10. F10 to F13 are the best image quality range. The image quality keep increasing until F13. If you stop down the aperture smaller than F14, your image will start to fall apart. And then we are going to do a lens flare, bokeh, focus breathing, and distortion test. So the Sigma 105 is a sharp lens with bad chromatic aberration control. And the third lens, Sigma 150 at 2.8 wide open. Surprisingly well control chromatic aberration but pretty soft image with lots of spherical aberration. The spherical aberration can be fixed around f4.5. f7.1 to f13 are the best image quality range. Image quality slowly increase until f13. If you stop down your aperture smaller than f14, your image will start to fall apart. And then we are going to do a lens flare, bokeh, focus breathing, and distortion test. So the Sigma 150 is a soft lens with some kind of dreamy look. Conclusion time! So the Sigma 150 is a creamy lens with well controlled chromatic aberration. And also, if you want to shoot some little stuff, super tiny stuff, you need to back up a little bit to avoid your shadow to be in the shot. Then this lens is pretty good. And about the Sigma 105, a lot of chromatic aberration, but surprisingly good sharpness due to its price. So it's a low budget option if you want to shoot macro. And about the Canon 100 IS version, it's an all around lens. No wonder lots of people recommend to shoot macro with this lens. But you need to take caution if you want to shoot wide open because there are some visible chromatic aberration. Okay, so this is the end of this macro lens comparison video. So if you like this video, press like, make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel to check out more video like this. If you want to watch more video like this, check out this playlist. Okay, my name is Kaiwan and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.